29 minutes to two. This is Dominic Carter on the Lunchtime Show till three. You were hearing from uh, Ewan Lewis, the artistic director of the Barn Theatre in Sirencester. So they've sadly had to close their doors, uh, like all theatres at the moment, because of the ongoing situation with coronavirus. But uh, the good news, there is a lot of good news to talk about, uh, because Ewan was mentioning a new streaming station called Behind the Barn Door. It's aiming to provide people uh, with a mix of community news and entertainment to combat issues of isolation and loneliness, especially with the elderly in our community. A uh, brilliant idea, this. They're going to sort of get on there a little bit, I guess, in many ways. Our first broadcast is tomorrow with Cotswold Conservative MP uh, Sir Geoffrey Clifton Brown, which is brilliant. More on that, and you can get little questions into him as well. I'll, I'll get you and on the line in a minute. Um, but special guest, um, could you introduce yourself, please, with a little bit of panto music in the background? I think we need a bit of this at the moment. Hello, who's there? Well, hello, everybody. It's me. It's Tweedy. Tweedy the Clown. Yay! <laughs> Hi, Dom. That'll, that'll be Tweedy. We love that. Uh, you and in the background as well. Um, I'm going to be serious for a minute. Um, how are you? Okay. Because you are, you are a freelance entertainer and performer. We love you. Uh, we love everything you do in Gloucestershire theatres. Uh, but actually, seriously, um, this has been a huge shock for you personally. Um, how are you bearing up? Um, well, basically, Gifford Circus is in the same position that the barn is. They've just shut their doors. Um, not completely, obviously. Um, so, yeah, they just had all the costumes kind of made and the set made, you know, which is a huge outlay financially. Um, so, yeah, they're in the same position. And we were told, yes, we're going to put the show on pause. Um, so I put a post on social media just yesterday to kind of say that and say, um, I can do video messages for birthdays or celebrations. And um, the response has been phenomenal. And um, people have been so generous. And people, kids that are having their birthdays um, cancelled because they can't go out. So they're getting a message from me and they're donating. You can donate what you like or you can donate nothing. That's, that's completely up to you. But you will get a video message of tweeting going, Happy birthday! And doing some other silly things. Um, but the reason I'm at the barn today is... From that post on social media, so many people suggested I do some sort of online show to help cheer people up and entertain the kids because, of course, all the schools are closing. So I said, oh, how, how am I going to do an online show? And then Ewan just messaged me this morning and said, well, we're thinking of putting some online shows on in the barn. So I literally got here to have a meeting with you and about possibly doing some online shows in collaboration with the Barn Theatre. And he said, oh, before we have the meeting, we're going on the radio. So we haven't actually had the meeting, <laughs> meeting yet. <laughs> so we, we don't really know if what we're doing there. But yes, we're going to have a chat about the possibility of doing Tweedy at the Barn. It, it'll oh. happen, guys. It'll it, happen. It will definitely <laughs> happen. Um, and, and Tweedy, I mean, I know it's too early to, to say, but I know you're involved with, you know, theatre life in in Gloucestershire. Yes. Um, can you just give us a little bit of reassurance that hopefully there'll be a panto at Christmas because we'll need it by then? Oh, yes, there will. Um, <laughs> oh, no, there won't. <laughs> oh, yes, there will. Oh. Um, I, I just, I just want to say something else, though, because people have been incredibly generous and it's great, and I'm very lucky and in a great position to have these opportunities, but there are thousands of circus artists out there. You know, the season was about to start, so most of them don't have savings. And, um, yeah, they've got, there's no way they can get work or income. So um, I'd just like to bear that in mind for people that they, um, there's a lot of people in trouble out there. And, of course, those of us that are in, in a better position can hopefully help out. Yeah, uh, so well said. Anything that you want to say? was serious then, wasn't no, it? No, eh? but that's great. Yeah. And you're, you're, what the sentiments are, you know, we're all feeling that, uh, um, quite rightly. Yes. Anything else you'd like to say before you hand back to you, Ewan? Merry Christmas, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I would expect that from you, Tweet. Thank you so much. You, you take care of yourself. Um, you and we've you. got we've got a couple of more minutes, so we, I just want to mention, obviously, uh, what you're talking about a few moments ago about your uh, behind the barn door, this new sort of little streaming station, um, but also yeah. buy a ticket forward. Tell us a little bit more about this as well, how it links in with the emergency services. Yeah, so at the moment, obviously, we can see that um, there's a lot of people in our emergency services, our NHS workers, um, you know, and it's probably the armed forces very soon are going to be right on the front line with this. And we are, as a, as a country, so heavily reliant on them, people coming out of 
uh, retirement to go and battle this on the front line. So we wanted to reward these people by offering a fund, an, an emergency services initiative to buy a ticket forward. So you can go on to our website of barntheatre.org.uk and you'll see that there's a little fund on there to buy a ticket for these people who are going to keep uh, try and keep everyone safe and healthy over the next couple of months probably. Um, and what we want to do is at the end of this to get enough money in there to uh, invite as many of them as possible to come and have a free ticket to see something and because we will get the barn back open and they can uh, come and enjoy quality entertainment and as a big thank you for them and for whatever we raise um, tickets wise the barn will match that and so therefore we'll double it and make sure that we get as many people who have worked incredibly hard um, who are keeping this country alive literally in some cases um, to give them a big thank you and a big hug from us at the bar. Excellent, excellent stuff. Um, uh, before you go, we'll give out all the emails and stuff like that in a minute, but um, tell us about the special letter uh, you've received from somebody that you'll instantly know the name of, if you've ever seen War Horse or heard of War Horse, of course. Yeah, well, we were absolutely humbled to receive a letter um, yesterday from Sir Michael Morpurgo, who wrote War Horse and uh, 150 other amazing uh, children's books, and to support... Um cause um, Save Our Barn, uh, which again, uh, there's a fund for on barntheatre.org.uk. Uh, Michael, we've worked with last year on the Butterfly Line, and this year we were just in the development stages. We'd actually just done the auditions for the Mozart question, which is another wonderful story that he's done. It was a commission by the Barn Theatre. It was the first time this story was going to be brought to the stage um, as a full-scale production. And uh, he, hearing the news about the barn having to close his doors and the £250,000 hole that we're in at the moment was, you know, impassioned to uh, get involved and to try and help. So that letter has now just been published by us. So if you go um, onto our social media, you'll be able to see the letter and his wonderful words. And we're just so grateful to have, yeah. as well as amazing audiences, um, amazing supporters from all over the world. Can I read out just a line of it? Uh, he says, this brave little theatre has in just a short time become the cultural hub of Sirencester. Knowing you and knowing what you all do, that really sums it up for me, the barn. So when you said we're mm. going to open again, um, I could tell just by the tone of your voice, Ewan, that, uh, that you mean business, which is absolutely brilliant. Um, if you want to get involved in that special event tomorrow, by the way, you can, I believe you can uh, send a little email, can't you? Yes, so if you've got any questions for our MP, uh, Sir Geoffrey, um, get in. This is the worst email address I've ever heard. I've got it here. So, uh, shall, yeah. I do it, shall I do it in a voiceover style? Then you can reiterate it. Yeah, please it. do. Please okay, do. if you've got a question tomorrow for um, uh, Sir Geoffrey Clifton Brown, contact at Sirencester Town Centre Business or alternatively call 0161. 818-9140 and leave your question together with your name, business and contact details. And if anyone is struggling to actually remember that email, um, we're going to post it on our website, um, so barntheatre.org.uk for everyone to see. But also, you know, it's such a terrible email address, just info at barntheatre.org.uk <laughs> uh, would be easier. Just subject line, say, Sir Geoffrey or MP, something. We'll get the questions to him. Listen, it's too important to not. Just tweet, tweet, tweety the clown, it'll get to you. Whatever you do, it'll get to <laughs> yeah. Let's be honest. Uh, thank you, guys. Well done. Thank you for coming on the radio. And, uh, well, thank you. We'll, we'll speak soon, yeah? Uh, thank you, Dom. Thank Thanks, you for all the support. Thanks, Dom. I just support you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Rajdi, Tweedy the Clown, and uh, Ewan Lewis, the Artistic Director at the Barn.